My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on the 3rd of September, we give the feast of Saint Gregory the Great. He was born in the year 540 in an aristocratic family. His father gave him the best education of his time and he pursued public service and soon at the age of 34 in seven at 574 he became the prefect of Rome the highest civil service but at heart he wanted to serve God the following year 575 his father died leaving all the property to him and indeed he became the richest man in all of Rome however he sold away his property and built six monasteries in Sicily and converted his own house in Rome into a monastery and entered monastic life he had peace for four years because in 579 Pope Pelagius II ordained him as a deacon and sent him as ambassador of the Pope to the Emperor at Constant Constantinople in obedience he went with his monks and in the midst of grandeur he lived a harsh monastic life along with his brethren and in 586 he returned to Rome and became the abbot of the monastery where he first entered the monastery of Saint Andrew there with zeal he started working because Rome was in ruin at that time the Roman Empire had fallen and Rome was constantly attacked by the barbarians and there was plague and flood and other natural calamities that caused trouble to the people of Rome. During the plague in 590, Pope Pelagius II died and the people unanimously elected him to be the next Pope. But on knowing, he immediately wrote a letter to the Emperor Maurice not to make him the Pope. And he also had friends at the palace whose help he sought in order not to become the Pope. But then it was inevitable and he was made the Pope. On knowing that he escaped, ran, but he was caught and brought to St. Peter's Basilica, ordained and made the Pope of Rome. Before he became Pope as an abbot, one day in the slave market, he saw three young boys from England and he asked them, where are you from? And they said, we are from Angles. And he said, you look like angels and yet you are still in the grief of the evil one. Therefore, he wanted to go to England as a missionary along with some of his brethren, but he was stopped. But on becoming Pope, he sent 40 monks from his old monastery under the leadership of the prior Augustine as missionaries to England. In 596, they left in 597, they converted the king of Ken and 
a diocese was established there. Likewise, as a pope, he evangelized Rome and its surrounding and also established strongly the church in France. In 604, he, after 14 years as Pope, he passed away. He is simple, learned, and therefore is the patron of singers, scholars, and teachers. He is considered as the doctor of the church in par with St. Augustine, St. Jerome, and Ambrose. We can learn many things from this great Pope. But his word that the best gift we can give to God is to walk with zeal for the salvation of soul is something which we all can treasure today. On his feast day, let us pray for the universal church that we may have zeal for saving souls. God bless.